Before Tuesday night, it would have been presumptuous for Donald Trump to say, I consider myself the presumptive nominee, absolutely. But the campaign's calculus, after Trump's trouncing of his rivals in Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island's primaries, gets simpler. I mean, I've always been very good at math. Since the kickoff caucus in Iowa, we've been talking about 1,237. That's the number of delegates required to clinch the Republican nomination. Now it's time to talk about the final 237. Mr. Trump entered Tuesday night's so-called Acela primary, a reference to the Amtrak high-speed East Coast corridor, with 845 bound delegates. He picked up around 105 more on Tuesday, finishing with around 950 delegates. And there's one stop the train skipped on this trip, New Jersey. When the Garden State's turn arrives on June 7th, he's considered a favorite there, and it's pretty much a given that thanks to it being a winner-take-all state, its 51 delegates will be all aboard the Trump car. That would get Trump to 1,000. Based on that assumption, Mr. Trump really only needs to worry about getting that magic remaining number of 237 more delegates. Excluding New Jersey, there are only around 450 delegates left for the taking, and Mr. Trump only needs around half of them to get those 237. The primary train next heads west, stopping off in Indiana on May 3rd, where 57 delegates await and where Senator Ted Cruz hopes to prevent Trump from winning the race outright and instead go to a contested convention. Now the media want to say everything is decided. And the question is, can the state of Indiana stop the media's chosen Republican candidates? Mr. Trump notes that legendary basketball coach Bobby Knight is supporting him in the Hoosier state. He's tough, he's sharp, he's smart, and he wins. The final contest on this wild ride that's been the Republican presidential preference contests includes on June 7th, California. It's got a huge delegate hall with 172 at stake, and Trump is doing well there. So the Golden State could be his golden opportunity to finish past the 1,237 mark. That's today's campaign calculus.